Hello everyone and welcome to day two. Day two is going to focus on some strength training for your upper body. Again, it's a quick workout. We'll have it done in about five minutes and you can do it anywhere at home. Let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick warm up for your upper body, for your shoulders and your core. So we're going to start off with some arm circles. We're just going to do about 15 of these. So start off with the arms straight out and we're just going to do some medium sized circles. Going to go forward. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The circles can get a little bit bigger. And then we're going to start big going reverse. 5, 6, 7. Get it smaller. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15. So we've got the shoulders nice and loosened up. And we're just going to do a little bit of warm up for the core. So legs a little bit wider. Arms straight out again. And we're just going to do a twist. So you're twisting right to the side and back. Focusing on keeping your stomach nice and tight the whole time, but this is going to help with a nice warm up all through the core. Really want to feel those muscles stretch. Doesn't need to be really fast. You don't want to pull anything, just a nice slow twist back and forth. And we're going to do one more and from here your hands are on your hips and you're just going to very gently do a circle and lean forward. And so these can be called hip circles. And we're going to do about five of those going in one direction. That's three. There's four. That one's five. And your warm up's almost done. We're going back in the other direction. That's five. Four. Three. Two. And we should be all loosened up and warmed up and ready to get started. Okay, so the first exercise in this workout today is going to be called a straight arm plank. So this is a great one for your chest and your shoulders and your triceps and especially your core. So March is going to start off with her hands right underneath her shoulders and we're going to get those hips up, feet right back so she's on her toes, almost like you're in the starting position for a push up. And I'm going to start timing right now so you can get started as well. And we're going to hold this position for one minute. This position here, some of the key things that you want to think about are keeping just a slight bend in the elbow. So you can see the March's arms are just slightly bent. And what this does is it makes her use her triceps instead of having the joints locked out, which would put some pressure on those elbow joints. Her back is nice and straight. And Marta is also keeping her abs flexed. So what that does is it takes a little bit of pressure off of your back, makes your stomach muscles work, and this is really a full body workout in addition to really nailing that upper body. Looks really simple, but it's really quite challenging. If you're still holding like Marta is, you've got about 15 seconds left. And you can hear that Marta has got nice controlled slow breathing. That helps as well. Good posture, nice straight back, hands under those shoulders, and that's one minute right there. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so the second exercise we're going to do focuses a lot more specifically on your shoulders, and as well it's going to work a little bit of your upper back, and your rotator cuff, which is a group of four muscles that holds your shoulder socket in joint. So we're going to start off, and we did this for the warm up, but this one we're going to do smaller, quicker controlled circles. And we're going to do 30 seconds in one direction, and then we're going to go 30 seconds in the other direction. So, think about having the arms straight out level with the shoulders, and we're going to start 30 seconds right now. So we're going to do those nice, tiny little circles going forward. As with any exercise, you want nice, controlled, slow breathing. So with this one, the smaller the circles in your shoulders, the better because that's really going to work all that rotator cuff and you want to think about keeping your neck relaxed so you don't want everything all tight you want the shoulders down and those nice circles Mark is going to let me know on 30 seconds that's 30 seconds perfect so we're going to go reverse now same thing 30 seconds and everything's nice and quick but always controlled should start to get a really nice little burn in those shoulders now Feel that upper back working also. Nice and quick. 
probably almost done. Mm -hmm. That's 30 seconds. And that's 30 seconds right there. And that should give you a nice little burn all through those shoulders. Okay, so this third exercise is a rather challenging one. And it's going to work a lot of your chest and shoulders and especially triceps. But we're also going to get a lot of core on this one as well. So this exercise is a bent arm to straight arm plank. Marta demonstrated a straight arm plank before. I'm going to show you what a bent arm plank looks like right now. So my elbows are going to go under my shoulders, my forearms are flat, I'm on my toes, and my back is nice and straight. So this is the starting position. From here, we're going to push up one arm straight, and then we're going to push the other arm up straight. So now we're in that straight arm plank, and then we're going to go back down. Now here's the key. You want to go up with the other arm each time, because each time you push up, that tricep is really working and then you're gonna go back down. So you're pushing up the left to the straight arm, and then the right to the straight arm. So we're gonna get started now, and we're gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. That's one. That's two. Three, it's four, it's five, halfway there, six, seven, it's eight. Nine. And that's ten. So that gives you a really nice burn all through the shoulders, triceps. As you can hear, I'm breathing heavier, so that gets the heart rate going as well. And that's a great exercise to lead up to eventually doing push-ups. The next exercise in this circuit is called dips, and Marta will demonstrate the dips in just a second. First of all, we'll talk about what muscles are worked. So those shoulders and those triceps are the major muscle groups for this. And if you do spend an entire day sitting in a chair at a desk, this is a great one that you can do. You don't have to go anywhere. So you can see that Marta is towards the edge of the chair, hands right at the edge. And we're going to get started now just to demonstrate. So her back is just out in front of that chair. She's going to lower herself down nice and slow to about a 90 degree angle in those elbows and then she breathes out as she pushes back up. So nice and controlled down, good, breathing out back up. And that's exactly how it's done. So she's already started but we're going to get you started right now. So let's do 15 of these. There's one, two, three, good job, four, five, that's it, six. Seven, good, she goes a little quicker on the way up. That one's nine, always controlled on the way down. We've got five more of these, five, four, good burn in those shoulders and triceps, two more. And this is the last one, nicely done. Okay, so the last exercise in this circuit is going to be a bent arm plank, which we've demonstrated earlier. But this one involves shoulder protraction and retraction, which is a really fancy way of saying you're going to pinch your shoulder blades together and you're going to separate them. What this does, in addition to working your rotator cuff and your upper back, we're also going to work a really important muscle called your serratus anterior. That muscle sits on your rib cage and it connects your back to your chest. It's also a really important muscle in keeping your shoulder nice and stable. So, we're going to get down to that bent arm plank. Elbows underneath the shoulders, up on the feet. You can have your arms slightly wider than shoulders. And from here, nice and slow down, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together and then breathing out as I separate. We're gonna do 15 of these and we're gonna start now.
got five more. Nicely done. So you should feel that real good burn through the shoulders and upper back. And you may not necessarily feel that muscle working during the activity, but you probably feel it tomorrow. Okay, so that's the end of day two. So we've done some nice strength training over the last couple days for both your upper and lower body. Get ready tomorrow for day three where we're going to do a mini cardio blast.